Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're doing well and uh, Cancer if you're new here my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? As usual, please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general. So just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them. Or if a title catches your attention, that's why they're timeless. And that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I have done for your sign with cancer more than anything. Do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising and Venus. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes that happens. And it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path or journey. Okay. And uh, last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. All right, Cancer? Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Cancer, you've got the Knight of Wands as the starting energy of your reading, or the heart of the matter, or the current energy that you're dealing with. Knight of Wands talks usually about well, it could be a very passionate uh, energy, but I, it, you see, the problem is that it's very... Uh, it can become very indecisive and stable and um, inconsistent. Um, I don't know if this is you or it's someone you're dealing with or something you're dealing with, at least not yet. But um, I do see some type of an erratic behavior. It could be something within you. Okay, don't take it to personal, but let's see. Let's just keep going on. We'll figure out what's going on here. Um, now, if once, it can also be, you know, just allowing yourself to be more playful, energetic, Allowing yourself to test different things, try out different things. You see, that's that's a problem. But just be careful about how you do that, you know, and that and be mindful with other people's energies that you're not somehow affecting them. Okay, and your own energy. You know, it's okay to have other options and try different things. But uh, let's see. Let, let, let's continue to figure out. Hmm. The energy that's crossing, it could be a challenge or a blockage, is the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're meant to see some type of truth or clarity here about something, about a situation. Uh, this is the sort of truth, you know, it's about being true to yourself about something, being true and loyal. Um, could also mean that maybe some of you are meant to speak your truth about something. I don't think so. I think you're meant to see the clarity about something here. And sometimes these truths um, are rather or can become rather painful confusing shocking but you know it always they always say that uh, the sort of truth the truth will always hurt you know but it will always set you free somehow so um, I think you you do have to see something for what it is. I think that's more than anything the energy that I'm seeing. Still, this Knight of Wands, I'm not sure if it's you or it's someone else that you're dealing with or something else that you're dealing with, but something that maybe you're ignoring about it and you, it has to come... It has to come to your knowledge. You, you have to be... There's something you have to see about it. Crowning your conscious mind, and you are aware of this, and you're constantly thinking about it as a king of cups. This is you, I, obviously, obviously. Divine masculine um, 
water energy okay your water signs Pisces Cancer Scorpio and you do know that there is something with your emotions about your emotions crowning you this is telling me that you do know you have to be more aware of your emotions maybe if not just more in control of them and not let anything emotionally get the best of you manipulate you okay uh, you're gonna have to be very very emotionally strong about something you do know that maybe even I don't know it could be even a little cold-hearted or not show maybe you know you're not meant to show emotions let's see let's continue this is uh, quite strange the energy is below you in your subconscious mind and you are not aware of and oh okay it could be that divine wants you to focus more on this and well pay more attention to this eight of pentacles it's about putting this hard work and self mastery into yourself i think cancer i think they're trying to tell you that no matter whatever it is that you're dealing with or who you're dealing with try to stay focused on yourself and try to just keep progressing keep you know it's about staying in this nice vibration calm and collected you know with the king of cups in your conscious mind and this eight of pentacles in your subconscious it does make sense i think you are aware that you must stay calm and collected but at the same time they want you to you know divine wants you to just keep working on yourself maybe there is something that is you know very erratic it's causing you distraction or or just trying to get the best of you somehow it could be another energy maybe a little too playful maybe this could be you I'm not sure okay I'm gonna try I'm gonna have to leave it that way whether it's you or it's someone else but what they're really trying to tell you I think they really want you to just sit and try to start putting more quality time and energy in yourself and try not to try to um, ignore this night of wand energy whether it's in yourself or someone else um, Maybe it's about the playfulness, the erratic behavior, the inconsistency, you know. Maybe some of you have to be true and loyal to yourselves about that. You know, maybe you know, maybe you have to see that, well, yeah, maybe I'm not, you know, maybe I'm not putting the quality time or energy into myself. You know, maybe it's time to stop uh, effing around, you know. Uh, some of you might be thinking, you know, I think I'm getting a little too old now to, to keep uh, going on with these type of things. It could be maybe even games, I don't know. And if not, it could be just someone else that I think you have to see something about them and just stop interacting with them or stop. Don't let them, don't allow them to keep you in this energy of maybe, maybe not, I don't know, you know, and just start time to just start focusing on more it's just it's about getting more serious about things okay that's what I'm really trying to say here okay okay behind you recent past where you're coming from um, you're leaving or should be leaving behind or the reason why you're going through this five of cups very heavy energy and I just it's like I read uh, I think it was Aries or Taurus I have this uh, pressure here it's like when you cry a lot some of you have been reminiscing a lot and 
the negative side of things and how things have not worked out for you on the losses and that's not helping you I think you are meant to I think yeah that's what they're telling you you're meant to take new opportunities in your life this is why you have to start putting this quality working you don't have it's about dwelling on something it could be even wasted energy maybe some of you have been wasting your energy and with something or someone and you're meant to stop doing that maybe some of you are all become, becoming aware of this or just recently did you know it's like maybe some of you are saying well what did i do with uh this last few years of my life you know i think i've really wasted a lot of time just uh, doing something that's not you know very uh, valuable you know and i think that's what they're really trying to tell you maybe your subconscious is really trying to tell you that you know cancer it's time to get serious now and get working and start you know focusing a little more on yourself and on the things that you do okay maybe yeah maybe in your conscious mind you are aware that something with your emotions that you you have to start you have to be more in control of them okay it's like it's time to stop effing around maybe you are saying this to yourself if not just stop effing around with someone else you know who's wasting your time yeah, this is beautiful in front of you where you're headed to and well where you're meant to go to or the near future is the full aries energy um cancer this is about having a new beginning you're meant to have a new beginning a fresh new start i think you know what they're really trying it's about having another opportunity if you do get serious with yourself and you start seeing things for what they are and not just seeing them but it's also about accepting them okay because the sword is not just about that clarity but it's also accepting them you know and don't once you accept something don't let that get the best of you maybe you know don't let that creep up on you because then you can get stuck just on that overwhelming energy of oh my god what did i do with my time and you can fall into some type of uh well it, would, it could be it's a, but it's not a state of depression okay but don't let that happen it's it's time to immediately just turn around and see some a new opportunity okay and there it is you're meant to have a new beginning okay and a fresh you start and stop thinking stop thinking about the wasted time energy or whatever has been lost here i think for some of you it could be three years maybe five i'm not sure it could be somewhere around that okay but yeah you're meant to have a new beginning yeah absolutely this is how you should see yourself or respond to a situation it's the six of pentacles you have to stop giving your energy to situations or individuals that they're always draining you i don't think they give you much in return this is your time energy money whatever i think you're gonna have to start uh being more uh, reserved with, well reserved with your energy okay you have to stop giving your energy out as much as you've been doing this it's time to to balance things mostly for you because the energy that's surrounding you it's influencing you and it's inspiring is the ace of cups self-love self-support divine help and divine support you know this is about self-love self-respect you're starting to do things for you uh, Putting yourself first making yourself a priority exactly
You're meant to have a new beginning, something more fulfilling, more enjoyable. Okay? Some of you have to make peace with the situation. Just accept that whatever happened, it had to happen. It was part of your path. But don't give up on yourself. Um, I think it's important that you love yourself and forgive yourself. And don't be too hard on yourself for whatever it is that you waste the time on. Hmm. Interesting. You know, it is that a waste of time. I see these three cups uh, on the ground he's staring at. And the Knight of Wands well, has the three pyramids on the back, you know. So I do kind of see the relation of, of that. It could be that, yeah, you are probably just focusing on the waste of time with this Knight of Wand energy, which you could have embodied or you were dealing with someone or something else. Hopes and fears, three of, and there's some, you see, threes, something about threes here. Even if this is the only three here, you know, this is about not being in the right situation. I think you do, you want to, I guess you are aware or will be becoming aware about something that you're meant to be somewhere else. Three of Pentacles is about being in a dark place. You don't you don't feel like you're part of it anymore. I think some of it's like you know, I think you're starting to you know feel fed up with this. Uh, it's like I've had enough of this. This is no longer for me. I am meant to leave this behind and uh, do my business, do my work somewhere else. Okay. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to do that. You don't have to stay in a place where you're not happy and where things are no longer, you feel that things are no longer meant for you. You're meant to start focusing on yourself. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice is the devil, Capricorn energy, Cancer, you're meant to break free from something. It's as simple as that. Some of you probably do feel obligated somehow, I don't know, to stay but you don't have to, and you shouldn't. It's time for you to break free and uh, just, you know, move on, move away from this. Don't let anything try to manipulate you, trick you, make you think that you have to do something. Uh, this is something or someone, if it is the case that you know, they don't want the best, you know, they really don't have the best wishes for you. Okay? You're meant to break free from this. It's, it could be a very toxic environment. This Knight of Wands, yeah, very toxic. With the devil as the outcome, absolutely. Oh, there you are. You see, you are... That wasted time, those three cups, stop thinking about that. It's about raising those cups and, and say, screw it, it was part of my path. But now I'm meant to be in an environment where I feel like I'm part of it. You know? Get out of that three of pentacle and go into that three of cups. It's about enjoying life, living life to the fullest, appreciating every single day of your life, okay? appreciating the smallest things in everyday life, okay? And enjoy, always live in joy. Knight of Pentacles, just start moving. Okay, don't stay stagnant. I think some of you have been already envision, have been envisioning something already, um, foreseeing or dreaming or desiring something. It's time for you to just start moving towards this dreams. Don't, uh, but yeah. And you know what? Exactly. It's about, it's the quality of the energy. You see, this horse is an ordinary horse. That's a stallion. This is a horse and that's a very erratic horse. Not a very well trained horse. It jumps around. The Knight of Wands has trouble uh, controlling it. Uh, there's something about this energy, but it's about, you know, it's a more calm, collected energy, high vibrational. 
once you do this, once you step into this energy, you'll be able to start moving on to something more solid. Okay, the erratic will not allow you to get anywhere. Okay? And then you've got the Nine of Cups, which is beautiful because you have to make yourself a priority. Everybody always wants a Ten of Cups, but you can't get there if you don't put yourself first. So I like to see this. Nine plus one, that's the Ten of Cups. Okay? But you have to self-love, divine love, self-support, and put yourself first. Whatever you do, do it for yourself. Always. All right, Cancer. Okay. All right, Cancer, let's uh, get additional messages. Just in case I'm missing something. Then we'll close your reading with the uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. What other messages do you have for cancer regarding this reading or situation? Please, if there's something else I need to know, what would it be, please? What other messages do you have for cancer, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There's one that just caught my attention. I just want to see what it is, but I'm going to take it. Eight of Wands, that's interesting, fast changes, but it's okay. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Judgment, Cancer, I guess, you know. I guess you are being called. I think you are feeling this energy of, you know, maybe it is time for me to get a little more serious and start cracking, you know. Um, start working on myself, start doing things in a more professional way. Um, stop dealing with energies that are just, you know, keeping me distracted from my from my mission from where I am meant to go I have to break free from this okay judgment is about it's time okay it's not about judging no 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 it's it's about it's time to answer to this calling it's time to leave the whole behind okay and I always like you know the moon card is right below it and it's always, I always see this also as a call and a higher call and, you know, you have to, to answer to a higher call and oh, it's a domesticated dog and a wild wolf and you have to howl at the moon just the way the wild wolf has done for uh, many generations, you know, and uh, it's about you breaking free, responding to a higher call. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, first minor arcanas and then we'll use the major arcanas mm. okay so cancer i got the knight of wands again that's just strong confirmation stop effing around with someone who's just um or something that is keeping you you know preventing you just from moving on keeping you stuck you have to see the truth about something or it could be within yourself but you have to be in true loyal to yourself okay because it's time to step it up, you know. It's about becoming this king of wands. More decisive. You know, more or action oriented. More, you know, you. It's about having that clarity about what you want. How you want something and you going for it. Okay. That's what the knight of wands does. He, he does not put up with any BS anymore. Okay, then we have the Justice Libra energy, you see. Speak your truth, this sword of in her hand. It's that sort of truth. If you do see the truth about something, you accept it, or you see the clarity about something, and you deal with it, I think karma, you know, there will be divine support and protection for you whichever resonates but you will be somehow supported okay but yeah you do have to to stop dealing with this knight of wand energy and accept start seeing something for what it is 
Okay, because it's time for an ending. It's 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 uh, Scorpio energy. It's the Death card. It's time for an ending. It's time for a transformation. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for a fresh new start. Okay. All right. Cancer, let's uh, close your reading with the uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. And uh, remember that whatever message comes out, take it as it best resonates for you. Okay. It's just something additional that might help you or could help you at some point in your life. Okay, one more. One more shot. Good. What are the messages here for Scorpio? I was going to call you Scorpio. I'm sorry. What are the messages do you have for Cancer? And if I did call you Scorpio for, at some point, I'm sorry. Oh, it's because of the death card right here. Okay. What are the messages you have for Cancer? Please regard this reading or situation with this Oracle deck, please. What are the messages you have for Cancer, please? Cancer, you got the loon, which is intuitive. Okay. And the loon card says to listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Okay. All right, Cancer. Cancer, this is the best I can do for you for now. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And uh, Cancer, um, if you do enjoy this reading, please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And as usual, uh, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.